Hey YouTube, it's Sable. I'm back with another um, kind of medium Dollar Tree haul. I had a chance today to go out to that new Dollar Tree that I told y'all that um, is in a small town about 35 minutes away from me. And I was surprised because they did have like a good selection of stuff. Some stuff they had I haven't seen at my Dollar Tree before. The store was laid out kind of different and stuff, like slightly different, um, but they did have a good selection of stuff. Like I said, I did see things that I don't see at my Dollar Tree, and I did get some things that I hadn't found at my Dollar Tree either. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm not going to start any specific order. I'm just going to go along and let y'all know um, what I got. And like I said, that's like a very, that's a town smaller than mine, I want to say. And I can't even believe that they had a Dollar Tree. So when I saw, um, I was actually like on the website, um, to see what time mine closed or something like that. I don't even remember. And that location popped up and I told my husband, okay, we need to go over there because it's crazy that it's a smaller town than ours and they have an actual Dollar Tree, like. To me, Dollar Trees are only like in the bigger cities, but that one's smaller than mine, like I said, or at least I think it is. And yeah, so I had to go over there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it and show y'all what I've got. I'll go ahead and start with this bag. And I'm just gonna take everything out. And one of them I had already opened, so I got that just to show you all the packaging. So one of the things that I was like most excited to find was the was the Disney. I think they're called Zoom Zooms. I think I'm not sure. Anyways, they had these at my Dollar Tree, and then they like completely ran out. And the only reason why I found them today, I was actually looking for them in the toy aisle. But, like I was looking for them, and then I saw two, but they were mixed in with all these different stuffed animals. They weren't in their own little, like, box. So I kept looking, and I saw Olaf first, but he was kind of dirty, so I didn't get him. And I wouldn't have even have wanted to wash him by hand or whatever. So I saw Olaf first and then I think I found Dumbo and then I kept looking and I want to say there's probably about six of them total or maybe seven or eight I'm not even sure but I found there was Olaf Tigger two Dumbos two Eeyores and then a Minnie Mouse so I had to like dig in the box I probably looked like a moron but oh well <laughs> So I went ahead and got, I was going to get them all, but I said no, it's okay because I don't really need them. But I got Minnie Mouse. Like I said, these are the Disney Zoom Zooms and they do have them like at Walmart and Walgreens and I'm not sure what other places. I had gotten some for my son and he actually gave them back to me because he knows that I love The Nightmare Before Christmas and he's already at that age where he doesn't play with stuff like that no more so he gave them back to me so I actually have those in front of my TV but those are like about this big I think it came with the whole set um, those are about this big but they're made out of like hard plastic or something like that so these from Dollar Tree are like little stuffed animals like little plushies so this is the tag and this is the real cute Minnie Mouse she's adorable so I got this one for one of my daughters. Then I got this for my other daughter. I wanted to get him the Olaf so bad because he was cute, but he was dirty. Like he was white, but he was like dirty. I don't know if he fell on the floor or what. So this is Dumbo. He's freaking adorable. Anyways, the actual ones, you can stack them up like this. So Minnie, Dumbo, 
and I had wanted to find Marie, but they didn't have her. I'm kind of sad, but I just went ahead and got me Eeyore because he was the next choice. So this is Eeyore. Look at his little hair. This is Eeyore. Look at his little tail. He even has the little bow on his little tail. He's the cutest. He's so adorable. So that's Eeyore and I don't know if I want to keep him on my desk or if I want to put him in my car. So we'll see. But those are the three that I got. Like I said, the actual toys, they come like this. Like you can stack them up. So I got Eeyore, Minnie, and Dumbo. Like I said, these are from Dollar Tree. They are very hard to find, so if you see them, grab them all. I was actually looking on the website the other day. Um, and like I said, I want to say there's like eight of them. I just know that they had, on the website, they had Mickey, Minnie, Dumbo, Eeyore, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Marie. Maybe seven. I'm not even sure. I'll have to look it up again but anyways here's Eeyore he's adorable they got all the details from his hair down to his little bow so that was a really good find like I said I had to like look for them like literally I had to look for them and I didn't mind because I actually went there for that to begin with so the next thing I got um, I had been seeing people on TikTok haul these candles So they did have, I want to say, three different scents, but I just grabbed this one. This is a coconut mac, coconut macaroon, and it's three ounces. It's three ounces. It says it on the top and the bottom, and the lid pops off, and it smells really good. Like it kind of smells like a coconut lime. I want to say it smells like a coconut lime, but that's just how it looks. And it's a real pretty glass color, so once it burns out, you can save this and you can use it for something else if you want. But yeah, that one's the coconut macaroon, and it smells really freaking good. So the next thing that I got, I've told y'all before that I do have a jewelry business. And I like to use different props to take pictures of my rings. That way they look fancy. <laughs> so I wanted some kind of flower because I have some here that used to be on my daughter's headbands when they were babies. But I just decided to grab these. It says they are, these are by the Floral Garden and they're um, peonies. I think that's how you pronounce that. So it's the... The normal brand comes with one, two, five of them. Oh, it had more, three. It had six, but I just realized that one's not there, but it's okay because I'm probably just gonna use one, like this fluffy one right here. I'm probably just gonna take it off the stem and then I'm gonna put it down. And then what I was thinking I would do, cause I did this the last time. What I was thinking that I would do, this is what I did last time. I'm gonna kind of put the ring in here Anyways, I'm going to put the ring in here. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm kind of just going to sit the ring in there like that. And then take pictures. Like that way they look like fancy and pretty. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably only going to use one of them that's fluffy. But it came with all of the other ones. So it's fine. Then I found this really cute little potted plant. It's by the same brand, the Floral Garden. And it says potted lavender and it's just this real cute little potted plant and it has like three little sprigs I guess that's what you call them of lavender and then it just has these little like weed looking leaves or whatever this is I don't know what that is and it has like little leaves and it's just a cute little potted plant I actually bought this for my husband's grandpa to go put by his cross 
try and get him little things like this here and there to put. I had gotten something like this but for Valentine's Day with a little heart and then I think I got him one with a flower. I thought this was cute because this can stay there like all the time. I can even add more stuff if I wanted to. I think this is kind of like a styrofoam so you could probably, uh, yeah it's a styrofoam. So if you wanted to add more to this you could or you could even put little rocks on here. I don't know but I got that then like I said for my business. I wanted to try out this masking tape. It doesn't really come with that much, which is kind of disappointing. It says 10 yards, but it's just the Jot brand mailing tape. It's 10 yards, it's 1.89 inches by 400 inches, and it is just in the clear, and it does have where you pull it. it like, um, it says mailing tape, but you know like packing tape where you just pull it and then cut it? It's like that. So I got that because when I print out my labels and put them on my packages, I usually tape the top and the bottom just so it doesn't come off. Because it's usually either the top and the bottom or sometimes it's the side, depending on how big the stuff is that I'm putting in the little bubble mailer. So sometimes I do the sides, sometimes I do all four, sometimes I only do top and bottom. So I wanted to use that tape instead of the smaller tape that I usually use. So. And then I saw somebody haul the wooden spoons. Well, it says bamboo. This is by the Cooking Concepts brand, and it just says bamboo fork. I wanted to get the spatula and the other ones too, but I didn't after all. I just decided to get this one because you can use it like as a spatula type thing, or you could even use this like when you're making hamburger meat or something like to break it up because it's hard and it'll help with that. Uh, you can also still use it as a spoon like to stir so I just got that one to try it out I think they, these look very like elegant looking they did have this one was the fork they had a spoon they had a spatula and I want to say that's it I'm not even sure but it is bamboo so it's like really hard so you won't have to worry about them breaking all you have to do is make sure that you wash them real good because they might stain and then another thing I got that I thought was really cute is by the Garden Collection brand and it's a garden flag 12.5 inches by 18 inches and this one just hangs with a little stick and it has lemons and it says home sweet home. I might probably just hang this on my door like after Easter because it's very uh, like spring type. And somebody had also shown, excuse me, that they had gotten some like plastic lemons. So I'm going to see if I can get those two and I might make like some kind of banner for my living room. I just thought that was so cute with the lemons. And you can see them on here, the little lemons. Lemons and peaches are in for this summer for some reason. I have no idea why. But yeah, I've seen... Um, I've seen at Walmart that they have a lot of peach stuff, so, and then I've seen that Dollar Tree is coming out with a lot of lemon decor type stuff, so. The next thing I found was these Women's Juncture brand No Slip Shoe Liners. It says now with silicone gripper. I don't know if that's in the toes or... I don't know why it says silicone gripper. Only oh, reason it's by the Juncture brand no slip shoe liners. Like I said, I don't know why it says silicone silicone gripper. I thought maybe it was in the toes or the bottom, but I have no idea. Anyways, it's by Juncture brand and it fits sizes five to nine. And it's just these little real cute no-show type socks when you're wearing tennies or um, any kind of little like shoes you can wear these as little booties or whatever and it has lemons and a lime so I thought the design was cute too they had another one and I like the bright like summery colors 
just to where when I wear um, tennies and are kind of like low cut, I don't like for my socks to show. Sometimes I really don't care, but other times I care. <laughs> so I just picked up one of those. I wanted to pick up more than that, but I could contain myself. So I almost forgot, but I got one of these spray sanitizers. It's by the Extra Care brand. It says on the go purse or pocket size with moisturizers and vitamin E and it is two fluid ounces, 70% alcohol to decrease bacteria on the skin that could cause disease recommended for repeated use. It says spray hands thoroughly with product allowed to dry without wiping for children under six use only under adult supervision. And like I said, this is the packaging. I saved the packaging just to show y'all. But I did already open it because I did already use it. And all I have to say is that two ounces is good for a dollar. So if you all do see these, and I want to get more. If y'all do see these, I very much recommend that you grabbed these because I used it a bunch of times today. Um, we took our daughters to the park and I used it to spray their hands, to spray my hands for my husband's hands and then we went to the store, we went back and we sat on the picnic table to eat because it was a nice like day outside and I sprayed the whole picnic table, the top, I sprayed the seats on both sides, I sprayed my daughter's hands again so I used this like a lot and I'm pretty much probably going to use it for that either for my hands or if we go grocery shopping or something, I'll probably just bust it out and spray the basket or, I mean, you know, I don't take my kids anywhere, like to stores or anything like that, but me and my husband do have to go when we need groceries and stuff like that. So I'll probably use it for that. Like I said, just to spray the basket handles or, um, I don't know, the door handles, I don't know. But I really do recommend this. If you see them, grab them. I am going to go get more. Like I said, I did already use a lot. And it still has like a decent amount in there. I did use it a bunch of times and I swear it's still like up to here. So if you see these, grab these. I recommend that you grab them. All you do is spray. And I like to go like this, but it does dry like automatically. So like I said, if you see that, grab that. That's a very good product. I do recommend that highly. So the next thing that I got is also another cooking utensil. It is by the Cooking Concepts. It is a potato masher. It says it's dishwasher safe. Um, my mom used to have one of these and she would use it like to make mashed potatoes. Like you just squash the potatoes. But I actually saw somebody use this to break up hamburger meat. There is another tool that I think they sell at Dollar Tree that's like this, but it kind of looks like an X, and you just use it to go like that, like to break up hamburger meat specifically. So, but I saw somebody use this, and usually when I make hamburger meat, like for something, I get a fork and I'm like there trying to squish it, or I use a spoon, or I use like a spatula to try to do that. So I'm going to try to do it with the wooden spoon, because it is hard so I can go like that, but this I feel will break it up even more. So hopefully, we'll see how that goes. Um, there was only one left at that Dollar Tree and it was at the very top shelf. So I actually had to ask somebody to get this for me. So yeah, it was the only one left. So obviously this is a good product that people use a lot because there was only one left and I got the last one. So the next thing that I got, they did have a lot of choices for um, Easter decorations. So I just got this for my background because this is for, I just quickly changed it from Valentine's Day that I had on there for a while to kind of St. Patrick thing. I did those in a rainbow and I just put lucky and the month is almost over. So today's already the 27th. Yeah, March is already pretty much almost over. So probably next week I'm probably going to change this out into my Easter stuff already and then after Easter I think I'm gonna leave like a spring theme so I just picked this up and it's by spring fling brand it says six piece six piece six foot hanging decorations 
so it comes with six strands basically and this is what the picture looks like and it just has big butterflies some flowers and then the butterfly like flying on its side and it just comes up bundled like this I think they might be individually packaged It comes in a pack of, it comes with three individual packs in that one, so it says it comes with six pieces. So maybe two, four, six, I'm guessing. I don't know, I'm not going to open it because I'm not going to use it until next month. So, yeah. They had two different designs. The other one had flowers and little hummingbirds. But like I said, I'm going to stay with a spring theme after Easter. So I got that to hang. I'm going to put this behind the lights. And then the lights are going to hang over this. So I'm pretty sure it's going to look pretty. So we'll see about that. Then the other stuff that I got was some food items. Kind of like little candies and stuff. So the first thing I grabbed was these Russell Stover Coconut Mini Eggs in Dark Chocolate and it says they're individually wrapped and it is 2.95 ounces. Coconut Mini Eggs in Dark Chocolate. I don't really like dark chocolate but I have a feeling it's going to be good. So just says handcrafted small batches. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it and probably try it for y'all because I do have my drink. So they're individually packaged. This is how it looks. They're kind of like thin mints but not minty but it's the chocolate with the coconut inside. They're pretty good. It's a Russell Silver brand. And so they're individually wrapped and it comes with It comes with six to a pack, which is pretty good. I mean, you could put these as basket fillers, um, depending on where you live. If it's like cooler, you could put those in the eggs. They would fit in the plastic eggs. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good. Like I said, it's kind of like a thin mint where you bite into it and it's a coconut, but it tastes like a mint. But this just tastes like coconut and chocolate. So the next thing I grabbed was this Palmer brand springtime snack mix. It was 3.5 ounces and it says peanut butter filled shapes, pretzel sticks, and peanuts. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. And that's what it has inside. It has like little chocolate eggs, bunnies, baskets. And it has peanuts and pretzels. It's kind of like a little um, trail mix type thing. But it's peanut butter. I guess the little chocolates are filled with peanut butter. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to try those right now. I'm going to try those later. But... So the next thing I found, okay, sorry about that guys, um, so the next thing I found, this is a rebuy for me, but these are a little bit different, um, it is by the brand Sof Sophie Pops and Gumdrops, and these say Magical Poop Marshmallows. So this is the packaging, the last time I want to say it was like ropes, but this one it says Magical 
poop marshmallows. And you can see that they just have different colors. So I'm guessing they're probably different flavors. Um, it doesn't say on here if they're different flavors or what. I'm not going to taste these right now either. I'm going to wait because I want my daughters to be able to try them too. So I'm guessing they taste just like the marshmallow. Um, what are they? Marshmallow. I don't know. It's like a, marsh like a twisted marshmallow. They're like this big. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's the same flavor except these say poop because of the shape and the other ones are like little braided ones. So, <clears throat> And the other two things that I got that I'm not going to show was I did get my daughter's the little um, goldfish boxes that are like this big and you just it has a little spout. I got them two of those. Then I also got them a juice. I want to say it was a Thumbico brand and it was tropical punch and the bottle was probably about the size of my cup um, and I didn't taste it but obviously they liked it <laughs> and then the other thing that I grabbed was these fruit snacks it comes with six pouches they're shark fruit snacks because they love everything baby shark and every time they see a shark it's baby shark doesn't matter if it looks like him or not this is by the yummy yummy brand so it's 100% DV, vitamin C, high in antioxidants, nut and fat free, no high fructose corn syrup. Then it has fruit juices. They are soft fruit chews, 70 calories, zero saturated fats, zero MG sodium, 10 grams of sugar, 100% DV, vitamin C. And it comes with six pouches and they are six, mm, they're 20 grams a pouch and the total net weight is 4.2 ounces so they did already test them out they tried one bag each they're individually wrapped this is how they look and these are in the flavor blue raspberry and they are about they're about this big from finger to finger right here that's how big they are and I did taste them and they taste pretty good I like that they're actually soft and I it does say soft on here soft fruit chews because the last time I got them some from there and I got the Crayola brand and they were kind of hard so I didn't I didn't really like those and I'm not gonna get them for them again that kind of so the next and last product that I found, I was really excited to find it because I was seeing a lot of people talk about them and I wanted to get some to try them out. I did grab four, but I'm only going to show two, but like I said, I did grab four. These are the Surefresh brand containers and lids. They're reusable, rectangle, they have the clip lock closure, they are freezer safe, BPA safe, and it holds 11.9 cups of whatever you decide to put in there. It's This is kind of soft plastic, and this is kind of a little bit on the hard side, I guess. It has the flip top. I don't really like how this kind of just pops open easily. I feel like that's not gonna oh now it wants to yeah I feel like this isn't gonna really help this is not closed right I don't know I tried to check all of them before I grabbed them but they do open like this it feels like it has a good um, snap on there when you close them but I did only get four so all you do is put it back on and you can hear when it clicks. So that's that. Um, I think I might use one for flower. I'm not sure. Like I said, they just pop open like this. And then you fill it up. And 
on, you kind of have to make sure the lid is on there like in place and then you just close, close and then it just has this to pour out whatever you're using it for. Like I said, I don't know about this, this is kind of, this is kind of flimsy. Maybe it's not... I don't know if maybe it's not like closed right because when you go like this you can just pop it open but when you go like when you try to go like this it's actually like on there so I don't know about this I don't know but yeah I just grabbed four like I said I wanted to grab more but I'm not sure if these are the bigger sizes that I had seen or if these are the smaller sizes but these are the only ones I saw and I heard um, <clears throat> somebody else on YouTube got these because she did a whole organization video, um, Oregon Bethany, I watched her. And she used these and she put like pretzels, I want to say cereal, I think chips but I'm not sure. But people mostly use these for like dry stuff like pretzels chips, flour, sugar, I think. Um, I saw somebody else use it for stuff like that or they put like little, um, I don't know, like you could put those little fruit snacks, you can take them out of the box. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can take those little fruit snacks out of the box, you can put them in here, like stack them nice and neat instead of having the box you have all the containers like, you know, stacked up nice and neat. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm going to use them for, I just know that I saw them and heard that they were good, so I just found these four. Anyway, so I just grabbed four of those, like I said, I'm probably not even sure what I'm going to use them for yet, but I'm going to figure it out because we're trying to keep the pantry um, organized. We had just went through it and we kind of tried to organize stuff. so. I do want to try to get more organized in like my pantry, my cabinets, under my sink, the fridge. I'm trying little by little everything. So yes, that was basically everything that I got. It wasn't a very big haul. Um, but yeah, I did find some things that I was actually looking for, like the little Disney toys and those little containers, the wooden, the bamboo spoon. Mm, the potato masher even though I was trying to find that other thing that I'm telling you that has like an X but yeah I basically I went over there like I said I want to say it was like 30 something minutes away from where I live and it is a city kind of smaller than mine or so I think uh, but I was just very surprised and excited that they even had a Dollar Tree. I had never been there before. I had never even heard of that Dollar Tree. So I was really excited to go check it out. I'm kind of disappointed because they had no eyelashes at all. Um, they didn't have no like good lip products, nothing like that. So that was kind of disappointing because I was actually going to try to see if I could find lashes. Because now I only have two pairs and <laughs> I wore these today. But I feel like for an everyday thing, these are too, like, fancy, basically. <laughs> these are the Ioni lashes from Dollar Tree that I'm wearing right now. I won these in a giveaway. And I've been using them with the Kiss, Kiss lash liner, um, eyeliner glue. But like I said, I feel like they're too like long and fancy like to wear like everyday. <clears throat> so I kind of wanted to get some like natural looking ones kind of like just to add a little something but not like I won't wear these every day and this is the first time that I actually put on lashes and wear them out like in public to test them out and I feel like I since they're so long I couldn't even keep my sunglasses on like I had to take them off because I felt like they were pushing against my lashes because if you see from the side <laughs> they're really long so yeah and these are the extra large wispy full dramatic so that's why they are the way they are when you see them from the side so 
how my sunglasses were basically like squishing them like that. And I was uncomfortable, so I took them off. And, uh, I want to say that those came with this little glue in there. I don't even know because I just have this glue from Sally's. And then I have two of the matching glues for that. And then I think this one came in there, but I just saved it just in case. Then I have these to match the lash glue. But these are the Sally brand, so. Like I said, I wanted to get some from there, and I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't have, like, none. My Dollar Tree had no lashes either. Like, they usually have the Ioni ones by the register. I looked, I didn't see any. I didn't ask either, but I mean, I didn't see any. I'm pretty sure everybody took them, and I'm pretty sure they're making room for the the newer boxes that just came out, so. Because the packaging isn't like this anymore. It's different, it's newer, and it looks like marble from what I've seen on TikTok, so. But yeah, I didn't find lashes. They didn't have lashes at my store either. They don't even have any of the glues left or anything at the Dollar Trees. Everybody's going nuts over the lashes. And I just recently got into wearing lashes. Like, I've gotten better at putting them on because I saw a TikTok hack where you get the, the, brush, um, the brush glue, you put it on your eye, then you put on the eyelash, you let it dry a little bit, and you put it in it. That works good. But I will say that that lash liner that I got was the best $8 I spent because it makes it so much easier to put these on. And I actually suck at putting eyeliner on, but with these, the eyelash covers it up, so I don't really mind. But anyways, yes, like I said, I was actually more wanting the lashes. It didn't even have to be the Ioni, I just wanted the ones that I got the last time, the LA Colors. Like I said, I didn't find any, so... Hopefully, when I get paid soon, probably next month, <clears throat> beginning of next month, I can make a trip to a few more Dollar Trees. Um, there's one that I haven't been to in a while, and that one usually has new stuff. So I want to go to that one first. Um, I want to say it's like 30-something minutes away from my house, too, so I want to go to that one first. Because they do have good things. I haven't been there in a while. So I'm hoping I can find me some Dollar Tree lashes. LA Colors. So yes. Um, I got all into that subject of lashes. But my video did cut off the first one. So I'm going to see if I can combine them together. Which I'm sure I can. So it's going to be the one full haul. Like I said now towards the end. I'm just gabbing on. But yes, that was everything that I found. Like I said, I was disappointed I didn't find the lashes, but it's fine. I'm going to keep looking. Um, besides, I'm kind of running out of room in my little organizer things that I got in the last haul. But yes, that was my haul. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you have the notification bell on. That way you know when I go live. I do try to do these as often as possible. I do still owe y'all that review video. Like I said, I'm going to try to get that as soon as I can. I just have been having hauls instead of reviews. But yeah. So again, thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.